Hi there guys and welcome back to another episode of Jana's On Tour. It is the 12th of February 2022 and it is another big match day at Home Park. Today Argyle welcomes Shrewsbury Town in 18th place in the league to Home Park. So what a obviously week it's been. Um, obviously the other day a fantastic 4-1 win away at Crewe. Ryan Hardy hat-trick first since uh, Ruben Reed's hat-trick at Exeter, which is a shame we weren't doing vlogs back then, but that would have been a great one to see on the vlog because um, we were at that one. And obviously last weekend, that magnificent performance at Chelsea. Gerda couldn't have got to that one, um, but at the moment, as I say, away games off the cards at the moment. But what a fantastic occasion that would have been for anyone that went. Certainly even watching it on TV, you could see the atmosphere. So really exceeded expectations and did the club proud. So hopefully that can push us forwards um, into this last sort of part of the season in our attempt to get in the playoffs and obviously gain promotion, you know, if if, if that can be possible. So today we go into uh, the home game against Shrewsbury on a 4-1 win away, um, you know, just outside the playoffs, really looking to uh, keep pace with the teams ahead of us. A win today would definitely do that, I think. Um, and yeah, I think we should be confident going into today. Shrewsbury Town are in 18th, don't really have an awful lot to play for, probably will be fine. Can't really catch the the, uh, the teams like us in the playoffs, so they've not got a massive amount to play for, but they're going to still want to get results. Uh, ex Exeter City player Ryan Bowman plays for them up top, so I'm sure he'd love to get a goal against us too. So, just got to be uh, all about getting the job done today, I think. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 win. I'm quite confident we'll score goals today um, and hopefully keep that home run going. So Andy Lodge, fan of the channel, he reckons it's going to be a 2-0 win as well. So looks like the fans are quite confident today for this one. So I'm going to go out to Home Park now, meet Rich and Sean as always, and see what's going on. And hopefully we can get some good match action for you guys today. So guys, thank you for tuning in for Jana's on tour for what is going to be a massive game today. Almost a sellout apparently, only a thousand tickets left last night. I think people have got the appetite for the football again, especially after that Chelsea game. So let's hope we can put on a show for the fans. I will see you at Home Park very shortly. Come on, you greens. Okay, we are back with the Janners on tour, boys. Sean and Rich selling programs. Oh, Not yeah, quite yeah. a bit under the weather today, though, Rich. Oh, yeah. Powerful, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, um, so, Rich, obviously, I was just saying in the intro, big week we just had. Obviously, that big win first away at Crew. Massive win, wasn't it? Oh, big win. We needed to back back after Saturday. Yeah. We did. Just to say as well, um, first hat trick since when we went, your first away game against uh, yeah. Ruben Reed against Exeter. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing that was. It's been a long wait, isn't it? Seven years, I believe. Obviously, last Saturday there was a massive occasion for the club. Did themselves proud, obviously. Yeah, every single player and for the just and fantastic. Do you think that can give us a boost now going forwards in the season? It's so that we don't map best team when we are yeah. day. We don't map the best level. I think the key is, is is making that taking that intensity into league games as well. Yeah, we have to we have to make sure like against Sunderland and Oxford, all those sort of teams at home, making sure we do that too. And it happened in the second half against Chile up, but yeah, I'm yeah. a bit of pizza on that. Yeah, that's it. Good. Um, so what about today then? Obviously Shrewsbury Town, a game that you know a team that's in 18th position, not really much to play for, but those teams can sometimes cause us problems. Team like that are very old to map to know what they're doing to the team. Yeah. They want to attack or yeah. defend. They're certainly not going to want to sort of come here and and. You know, just defend. They kind of want to try and get a goal if they can, I guess. Yes, so yeah, I bet they're going to be trying to do it on yeah. a chat. Who's their manager as well? Steve Cottrell. Steve Cottrell. So you know, he's got good pedigree at this level, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Knows the level, yeah. So what are you sort of going for then, Rich, for today? I joined two now. I went to the room out, but other than the bad news we heard today, Hardy and Scar are both out. Hardy and Scar are out, which is a big loss for us. Obviously, Hardy must be buzzing from getting a hat trick the other day, so big loss. Definitely. A 2 win for us today then? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Right, and Rich, well, hopefully we'll be celebrating come the Definitely. end. Definitely. Need something to celebrate. It is. And Sean, he's back again. How you doing, Sean? You good? Yeah, I'm doing okay. What an what a atmosphere last Saturday was, eh? Yeah. Even though watching it on TV, you could tell it was special. It was great. Yeah? Seen that video of you going mental on a... On a... Yeah, it's gone. It's going viral. Going viral, indeed. So today then, Sean, Shrewsbury Town, like Rich just said, probably going to come and cause us problems. How do you see it going? Probably a 2-1. You think a 2 1 win? Or 3 1. 2 or 3 1? I, I went for 3 1. We should have enough to beat them today, shouldn't we? Because yeah. we, if we're going to want to get in the playoffs, we've got to beat teams like this today, haven't we? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right, and Sean, well, thank you very much. We'll see you inside for another Good big army. match day experience. Guys, it's half time and it's Plymouth by Gargan now, Shrewsbury Town now, and we are inside because it is very wet outside. Yeah. So as we thought, Shrewsbury have sort of put 11 men behind the ball. Um, it's been hard for us to break them down. We've been good at wide at times, but balls in the box really haven't been coming to much. Um, we haven't really been able to uh, sort of penetrate um, the tour really today, have we? Now, we don't get but they're defending rock solid. Yeah, rock solid so far. You can tell they're sort of trying to get a goal on the counter attack. They've had a few dangerous corners as well the last few minutes of the first half, um, which Michael Cooper made a good save from the last one. So I just think we need that goal to open it up a little bit. If we get that goal, they're going to have to come at us a bit more and hopefully the game will open up. Yeah, and that's the thing. If we draw, yeah. we'll open that and that will be extra. Yeah. The conditions haven't been great either, really, so far, have they, which hasn't helped. Uh, it's shocking today, it's going to be worse tomorrow as well. Because your tournament's off tomorrow, isn't that right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, that's a shame. So let's just hope the second half we go forwards and get that winning goal. I'm still going to go for a win for us, but I think it's going to be a tight one. I think it might be a 1 0 this time. Yeah, I'll make it just be 1 0, I think. No, I'll let it match the minute win, I hope. Well, for us, it'll be good. Yeah, we need a link Alright, guys, well, let's hope we can get scored in the second half. We'll see you for the second half. Come on, you Come on, Danny. Set. That's it, lads. Danny, we... Shoot! Yeah. 
He can't risk a penalty like after last week. No. Missed two last week. Big three points if we get this through the line. Come on, boys! Come on, come on. Oh, get, get it out! Oh, good. Yes! Yes! Get in there! Come on, then, Rich! Yes! Big three points that one! Yeah, come on! When I've seen since November. guys welcome back we are back in the car very wet very soggy but it was all worth it because the final score was Plymouth Argyle 1 Shrewsbury Town 0 we had to just grind it out in the end didn't we Rich very grind it out I mean it was a good goal um, to win it um, good ball in from um, Jeff Cott and uh, Conor Grant hit it first time he always scores good goals top top corner keeper had no chance and then after that 
we sort of sat back a little bit towards the end, <laughs> which wasn't great to see, and we let Shrewsbury on to us, but luckily this time we held on and got a very important three points, didn't we? Yeah, Matthew bought the three points yeah. today. We were right back in the playoff race. A um, couple of the teams around us, uh, Wickham, they lost. Didn't they, yeah. Oxford? It looks like Oxford drew as well. A Sunderland were drawing when we last looked, so it looks like it's gone our way. So, very, very important result today. It's sort of that was a difference, really. Like the game against Lincoln, you know, we we didn't hang on. Where's the difference with today? We did so. Hello, Fleetwood. Fleetwood as well. <coughs> start the season, Cambridge. Those sort of games, like today, you've got to be winning. Yeah. And, and today, you know, we did that. So really, really good. So overall thoughts, Rich. Uh, very happy with the win. Yeah. Three win in a row for Dewey and yeah. um, Arno Manager. Two away wins and then and one win. And yeah. if I have a win at a prominent manager, Arno. So yeah. So good day in the office, really. Overall. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sean, happy with that, obviously. Amazing. Yeah. All good. Fantastic. So we move on now to Gillingham away next Saturday. So the boys have a good week now to rest. Just a week nearly so Because they're going to need it because after that it's game after game, especially at home. So two weeks time, big tricky game um, at home to Rotherham. We've got Cambridge before that away on the Tuesday. But you'll see us next for the Rotherham United game, currently top of the league. Should be a good occasion, should be a good crowd. Hopefully we can get up for that one. Oh yeah, and get a big win. That would really would be a good win. It's getting exciting now. We're in the we're in the area we want to be, going into the last phase of the season. Hopefully getting those playoffs. Victor. So guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Jammers on Tour. Hope you enjoyed. Good, we got the winning goal on there for you to enjoy. And um, Rich actually sat with us today, which was good to see. It's oh, been yeah. a long time. Nice surprise for everybody. Yeah. It was yeah good. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe. And, and share our videos we really do appreciate it and we will see you for Rotherham United in two weeks Come on you team Green Army Come on Come on Let's get it